Great show, guys. Great oh, show. Thank you, thank okay. you, thank you. Good afternoon, ESM. I'm Owen. Uh, and I'm Jaden. Today's our backwards show. So we're going to be doing everything in reverse that we normally do here on the morning show. So from me, Jaden, and everyone here else at the morning show, uh, on to sports. The Pelicans beat the Phoenix Suns 125-114 to to tie the series at one apiece. Brandon Ingram led the team in points with 37. The Memphis Grizzlies tied the series 1-1 to after John Morant scored 23 points in a 124-96 to game against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Despite frigid conditions, both the girls' and boys' track teams, frigid is um, not the right word to describe that, but yeah, defeated Fowler and Cortland and are 2-0. For the boys, Mike Parks won three events, the high jump, long jump, and 110 hurdles. Rocky L won the 100-meter dash, Sol Schofield won the triple jump, Luke Mancini won pole vault, and both the 100 and 800 relay teams won. For the girls, Aquat Kwani won the 110 hurdles, Ariana Finkelstein won the shot put, Kaylee Maloof won the triple jump, the 100 relay team of Sophia Jackson, Kaylee Maloof, Riley King, and Ivani McDuffie also won. And in upcoming games, girls lacrosse plays at home against Syracuse City at 6.45. And I'm John with your sports. All right. So we're back, ESM. We're going to talk about what we did over break. Uh, I had COVID for, like, the entire break, so I didn't get out much. I didn't do anything. But I heard you actually did a whole bunch of stuff. So what would you do? Yeah, so I went to Ohio. We went to the <laughs> Cleveland Zoo, and we drove right by the Guardians' new stadium. It's pretty cool. Nice, nice. Uh, there was a lot of flamingos at nice. the Cleveland Zoo. I like heard you also 30. went to the Shawshank Redemption prison. Tell yeah, me about that. they went cool. to um, there. They we went to where they filmed in the prison. Like there was a section where they painted off everything, where like they actually filmed the scenes where they were in the jail cells in the movie. And then there was a part where we went to. Uh, there was a solitary confinement area and there were no windows it was just long hallways of that's, jail cells that's a really cool trip though <laughs> yeah it was it was cold in there though yeah well over here it was pretty nice out uh, it was a nice break so now let's see what weather has to say Today, uh, as you can see on my left over here, we have some rain coming in and it'll hit us uh, probably around later in the day, around 6 to 7 p.m. And now onto our seven day. Today we'll, we will have a hit low of 37 with a high of 50 and it's gonna be a bit cloudy and we're gonna get hit with rain later in the day that can carry on to tomorrow with a low of 41 and a high of 57. Friday is going to be practically the same as today and tomorrow with a low of 36 and a high of 56. Our weekend is going to warm up and that's going to carry on to next week. So overall, pretty warm week. With that, I'm Grayson with our weather. Uh, are you interested in working in education as a possible career? Would you like to tutor younger students and visit local colleges? Check out the Take a Look at Teaching Club. Our next meeting is after school on Wednesday, April 20th in room C4. Jo join the Google Classroom for more information. The code is W4NXOEY. Again, W4NXOEY. The morning wait room will be closed on Thursday, April 21st? 20th. Yeah, because today's the 20th. Oh, yeah, then it will be. I don't know, something <laughs> so like that. So it'll be open after school, or, and it will be open after school. Uh, the history department is off is offering after school review sessions 
for our Global 10 students, there will be one review class every week starting after spring break. Students may attend any and all of these sessions. Please sign up for each review class on the sign-up sheet outside room B37 so instructors can prepare material. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For today. today, a British judge formally approved the extradition of Julian Assange to the United States, States to face spy charges. The case will go to Britain's interior minister for decision, although the WikiLeaks founder has, still has avenues of appeal. The U.S. has asked British authorities to extradite Assange so he can stand trial on 17 charges of espionage and one charge of computer misuse. Prosecutors say he unlawfully helped U.S. Army intelligence analyst Chelsea Manning steal classified diplomatic cables and military files later were published by WikiLeaks, putting lives at risk. Syracuse Stage presents the play that goes wrong, running from now through May 1st. The play is a comedy following the story of a drum society attempting to put on a murder mystery that goes awry. The play has won both the London Oliver's Award for Best Comedy and the New York Times Best Pick for Comedy. Tickets range from $30 to $55. A woman has been arrested at a Buffalo airport after opening a plane's cabin door and inflating the emergency exit slide. Cynthia McKnight, a 24-year-old woman from Sacramento, California, was accused of unruly behavior as a pilot prepared to take off from Buffalo Niagara International Airport on Tuesday night. McKnight faces a number of charges including disorderly conduct, harassment, trespass, and criminal mischief. Well, I hope you enjoyed our backwards show today. Uh, I'm sorry that you didn't get to see our beautiful faces this time of the morning, uh, but from Luke, John, and everyone here else at the morning show, have a great day.